This is a Super Morph match review sent into us by Jiggles to Hot Dog, which is a very interesting name. Um, <laughs> uh, you are, like I said, playing Xenomorph, which is uh, pretty um, wild uh, because that is uh, somebody that I love a lot. So to, uh, it's super surprising. I love Xenomorph a lot. I'm sure I've never talked about that before at all on either the Twitch or the YouTube. TLDR, good person to ask. Uh, very good character as well. Uh, usually hovering around like low uh, low A, high B tier, depending on who you ask. You're on Tormit Creek, though, which is a pretty rough map for Killer in general. Uh, the Fallen Silo is a pretty oppressive main building. Uh, can spawn uh, multiple pallets straight into it. It's, for Xenomorph particularly, uh, bad because no control station spawns there. You do have to use a cut coin to get one there. Um, unless you brought one, you don't get one. The only real benefit to this map for killers is that there's a dead zone on the left side of the map. Other than that, you're just kind of host. So let's take a look at your own Z-Perks. Okay, so your build is great. You're using Emergency Helmet, Self-Destruct Bolt. Uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, uncon uh, unconnected to this specific match for you. Uh, Emergency Helmet, Lambert Star Map, and Self-Destruct Bolt are your three best add-ons. It really doesn't matter which combination of the three that you run. Um, they're all good options, but... Typically those are the best three. Other options you could use are like the semiotic keyboard. Kane's helmet, it's just mangled, so it just mangled is always solid. Can't really go wrong there. Um, your build is fine. The only thing I would kind of like question is throwing tremors, because throwing tremors is just like, it's just not a very good, not a very, very good uh, perk because it goes on such a long cooldown that you're not really going to get a tremendous amount of value out of it. Um, if you wanted a really good other info perk. Honestly, I'd run lethal with this. Usually info, like an aura reading perks, aren't the craziest on Zemur because the tunnel information is so good, but lethal would extend nowhere to hide and give you a good first start to the game. Uh, yeah, other than that, you're good. So let's start and take a look at the game itself. And then your control station right away. Very good. Ooh, that got very loud when he got into the control into the tunnel specifically. Okay, they are behind you. Make him swing and miss. He'll tire. Okay. Uh, that that was funny. That was good. But like, be a little bit careful about like, you know, I don't do compilations and stuff. Um, as long as the full match is in here, it should be fine. But don't go too heavy with the editing stuff. So. I'm actually don't. Hey. Let's both stop talking about it. How about that? Okay. Let's both stop talking about it. Please, thank you. Can't handle the conversation maturely? Just don't have it. What production value? Damn, you're right. You get a quick early down, which is pretty good. Clean up the turret. Excellent. I would pick her up. Get your op never to hide rolling. We're going to tell you which shins are actively on. That's the one to your right. Okay, so she's sampling that, but thankfully you have another hook right nearby. Right, uh, right on. Get our reading on her. They do unhook right next to you. Following this person. Keep uh, in mind, those people will be hopping right back on that gen nearby. Um, they may be doubling up. Not that this is inherently a bad choice, but it's just something to consider at the same time. She's running out in the middle of nowhere. Should be able to. Get another pop use. Immediately come back over to that side of the map where they're working on this. Seems like the yeah, there's a lot of people not a lot of people, but a lot of gen progress up here as well. Keep in mind that leaving that Yui there is just gonna let her come get the save. Um the smarter option probably would have been uh, going after Yui, because that would force uh Elodie or um Ada to come up to this side of the map. I would have probably preferred you save that pop for a more progressed gen. Oh. 
really like this movie. Get it? Achilles heel. Thankfully, you get a quick down, so you're going to be able to pop that gen either way. This is awesome. Make sure you do pop that. Hank, pop the gen. Hank, Hank, pop the gen. There you go. Wait, don't walk away. Don't you walk away from that gen. What was that, Troy? An old movie. Good movie, but an old movie. That's why no one will remember your name. I taught an ancient civilizations class uh, in my student teaching, and we had a movie day for Troy. It's pretty cool. Okay. Probably be better if you hopped in your tunnels here. Yeah, if you had hopped in your tunnels, you would have. Yeah, you realize it a little late, but you probably should have been in your tunnels to kind of figure out where people are quicker. Watch what goes so hard. Yeah. Because anytime they would be getting a down, they'd be getting an extra 10%. Off a pop. You folks, this is awful. Honestly, if you're not a streamer, there's no reason not to just DC bad and up over. I'm gonna chase quickly. If you can get the down quickly, at the end of the day, the best pressure you have is skill is to um, have quick downs and quick hooks. But if you're not going to get the down quickly, or don't have the confidence that you will get that good mind game, then it's not worth it. Are you the person you're going to, like, you you hook somebody, get a poppy, so the next person that you're going to chase is, like, injured and in a dead zone? Absolutely go for the chase. Absolutely go for the chase there. Way better. Yeah, she's probably going to do this. It's so close. Oh, nope, she just gets grabbed. Yeah, and yeah, she just. You should be able to go kick that immediately after this, too. That was way too greedy of her to do. Uh, you know where they are. They're back at the suck. There's nowhere to hide, being good. <laughs> Not to catch a predator. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat right over there? <laughs> That's from the same episode somebody brings in Wendy's. Get away from her, you bitch. You're not even using the queen skin. False advertising. I know this is right. Having bamboozle, you don't really evolve a lot. This is the second time this has appeared. Second time featured in this stream. People bring bam and not using it. Woo! There you go. They're live reacting. From the past to the match for you. You're a 2 gen, so you need somebody dead. So you need to focus. Uh, you hear that gen to the left being worked on. Probably get Kate out of the game at this point. Good. The clone skin? No. It's the worst tail tip for aiming. The tail, if you were if you bring up like a, a, a crosshair while using that skin, the tail tip actually does this. Oh wait. <laughs> it's very funny. It's like it's like it's like it tried to touch the crosshair and it just got smooshed and pointed straight up instead. It's very funny. God, definitely kick that. You need to find Kate here. You don't really use your tunnels for info. You definitely should be doing that. Because there's been a lot of time in this game you've been spending just kind of like walking around back and forth and match time is gen time. You should be using your tunnels to find people. Like you came out without any info of where anybody was. You were just kind of like guessing somebody would be here. Queen skin's your favorite one? Yeah, and it's the uh, second best skin for it. Pretty close to the center of the screen. Pretty thin tail, so it's not like blocking the top of the screen very much either. Um, pretty nice. Yeah, why are you not just bam after her there? Despite bringing bam self to shark bolt, you really don't enjoy using it for some reason. It's the best skin, Blightomorph. 
if you look at a, a, a crosshair <laughs> and the, the blinded skin, it's like almost like pointing directly at the middle. <laughs> it's like the little thin tip. It's like boop, right there. <laughs> it's very funny. So if you're using the tail tip dame, the blinded skin's really nice for that. I will always remember discovering that because I, I remember the first time I looked at it, I told Ghost. The ghost was like, no way, that one feels really inaccurate. And I sent the, uh, I sent the screenshot. He's like, oh, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> bye bye. Oh. Weedamorph is the best. I mean, like, it's the coolest skin, I think. I have some other reasons to like grid the most, but like, I think it's the best DM skin, yeah. For aiming, it's definitely Binomorph, but... We could be in the tails of Stinger? Uh, maybe for Halloween. Are they getting a new skin this week? Uh, uh, they're getting a new skin for Ripley for sure. There are leaks of other skins, but they haven't been announced uh, officially. Uh, we are officially getting a rain tomorrow. Um, she is on the... Um, like the DVD, like, uh, little calendar they put out of collection releases for tomorrow. The other two, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, Random clubs, yeah. I, I try. They, they, they were trying to make it funny, so. Um. Yeah, they were a little late to try to get the Death Hook gamers out. for you know only to bug out kill myself for three months again are you referring to when <laughs> the tail tech was just like 40 seconds slower for like no re or not 40 seconds like 40 percent slower for no reason for a while <laughs> but that was weird i go back and i watch clips from that era i'm like why is that why is that taking so long <laughs> it's so weird the shack bug oh the shack bug yeah i think they fixed that one pretty quickly And use pop. I'm not sure. Probably because they were frustrated that they uh they missed quality, and they've got two people dead, so they feel confident. But they, it will be fine. I'm surprised she didn't throw that. She's saving it for next game, I guess. Is Ada just waiting out hatch? No, she's actually doing the gym. She probably just had to take time to find which one was nearly done because she saw it on her HUD but didn't know which gen it was. I'd imagine. Either way, you should get the 3k here unless you just like majorly blunder. Or just camp your kill to be honest. Yeah, because now she's yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't have minded just peeking at the door, but like the fact that you like full on committed to going all the way over there, she just let her slip in. She uh, yeah, she's in the locker and she had inner strength. Hey, you should have just stayed there. There's nothing you can do? You really hate it? Unless you're facing like a four-man swift that just constantly leads you back into the turrets. Dumbass. You shouldn't really be in a situation where like, like, what do you mean spam turrets? Because they can only have four up. And as long as you break them immediately and keep chasing with your crawler mode, you should be fine. That was almost what it. Are you doing, bro? Your best. That's what you do. That's all you can do, is your best. That's okay. Hey, Bubbly, how's it going? How's your Monday? The other three turns around Shack. That's actually pretty inefficient. You only need two to do a double turret setup. That's just inefficient. You're just saves and, and then all the loser, yeah, which is really sad. All right, so in terms of your main takeaways, um, 
the first main takeaway is you don't really seem to use the tunnels for info at all. Uh, the tunnels are uh, basically a built-in info uh, source for you at any point in the match so you don't know exactly where people are. And the fact that you spend a lot of time just like walking and not really sure Howdy people Bran. are. <laughs> Howdy, Bran. Howdy, I appreciate it. Thank you for the seven months. How are you today, friend? Um, but like I was saying for your takeaway here, um, there was a lot of times you seemed like you were unsure on where survivors were and you kind of just like walked around the map wondering. Um, should be using the built-in info of the footstep reading and the sound reading of the tunnels to find survivors when you're unsure where they're at. Um, so make sure you're doing that. Uh, there were instances where you were not actively getting used out of your pop and bamboozle. Mostly your bamboozle. You kind of like let people vault where, especially with uh, self-destruct bolt, making your vault speed even faster. You could have just vaulted after them and ended the chase. But um, you seemed hesitant to vault for some reason. So you're kind of like not getting value out of... Um, half of your perks here because there were uh, uh, two to three times that like a very crucial pop was needed and you kind of like ignored a gen or just popped a gen that didn't really have a lot of progress so make sure you're getting the most out of the perks that you bring because the, the pop and bam use was not really efficient um, I mean other than that you played mostly alright um, I think that you were a little slow to realize that you need somebody death hook so you didn't come back around to Yui or Kate right away and had like a chase with uh, Ada at the end while she was fully healthy. It was not ideal. So maybe I would have went back to either Kate or Yui earlier. Because oh, it was a little uh, risky to do it as late as you did. But other than that, I think he played well. He would be those main three.